Hello peeps! So today I'm going to try and install my HP multifunctional printer scanner. I installed it on my Linux Mint installation quite a while back and I need to now install it on my Ubuntu 15.04 and Gnome Edition installation which I'm currently using. So I'm using the instructions on this website hplibopensource.com I'll post the URL in the article and below the YouTube video so I'm gonna try these steps quickly so step one is prerequisite oh my lure prerequisite steps okay you'll need to root access to complete many of these steps while installing hplib if you do not have access, contact your system admin for assistance. Since most of you guys will probably be installing this on your local machines, I'm sure you'll have sudo access. So what we want to do first is go control T, open the terminal, and install, well, run sudo apt get update. And, uh, I was going to paste it in there, then put in your password and hopefully I don't break anything with this so let's do the update see what it finds, I actually did a update this morning so everything looks good so the next step they want us to do is install the required dependency packages so they've got steps for Ubuntu 10.04, 12.04 12.04 in the Python 3 environment uh, 1304, 1310 and Ubuntu, Ubuntu 1404 but I'm using 1504 so I'm gonna grab this control C, let's go back to my terminal paste that in here okay so there's quite a lot of things to install cups image, cups, client, so all printer related stuff, open SSL and I'm just going to hit enter hit search for the packages I think this could take a while so I'm just going to pause the video ok so it's unpacking all the packages just to show you what it looks like and there we go that's finished so now we need to download the tarball so on that link below the video on the article you'll find the link there I'll also put the link in the article and let's download that and it's from SourceForge Ooh. and we all know what happened with SourceForge a while back so I'm just going to put it in my downloads here. 21 megs, so 2.1. I didn't see. Anyway, so I'm going to go back to this article. And it says go to the directory where you downloaded the HPLib table. So I went to downloads because that's where I installed it, so list ok great, so there's hplib 3.15.7.tar.gz now we need to run the next command, so it's tar xvfz hplib dash 3.15 Seven. Dot. Tor. Dot. G. Z. Hit enter. It's done that. So now we need to change to the working directory. So let's go change directory. HPLib. I'm just gonna hit tab to auto complete in there. Let's see what's in there. If I go list quite a lot of stuff in there for us so step four would be configuring 
HPLib for installation. So they say the step configures the development environment and checks that your system is ready to install HPLib for specific information on using dot forward slash configure and the different options. Please go here. And there's a link. And I sometimes struggle with this type of action, but let's go to so Ubuntu 10.04. Use one of the below commands. Okay. But I'm using 15.04, so Ubuntu 11.10 and above, use one of the commands below. I'm using 64-bit, so I'm going to just grab this and hopefully this works. Just paste that in there. So far so good. Can't find python-devel support, and I've had that before. So I'm going to pause the video and to find out how I go about getting that running. Okay, so what I had to do was install uh, python-dev, so sudo space apt-get install python-dev is on the screen here. Yeah? And then afterwards, after that was installed, it's about 30 megs. As you can see, I tried a few things. I ran this command here at step 4 on the document and then that basically gave me this output here um, let's search for it quickly so much text Okay, so after this operation, 30.8 meg of addition to the space will be used. Yes, and it installed that package at Python dash dev package. And then I ran this build thing. Oh, I'm not sure what you call it. hblib the configure dot for slash configure. And it ran and it finished without an error. So now we need to run make this step will compile the HP lip source so let's go down a bit go back to my terminal okay into this command so they say just type in make and it failed so let's see what compilation terminate and make file recipe for target cups don't make so let me pause again and find out why it's doing that. Alright, it's because I didn't use sudo privileges, so I just typed in sudo space make and it's running. So I'm just going to pause the video again, wait for this to finish. There we go. So basically, that's what I typed. Instead of just make, I ran sudo make. Okay, now we have to run the, the make install as per step 6. So the sim link fix script steps only required for Ubuntu 5, 6, and 7. So we don't need to run this on 15.04, so we just need to run a sudo make install. And there we go. So basically we are done. So for no post installation steps for normal users other than root add username to LP group and then restart your PC logout and log in. Okay, so let's do this. For my username and my guess is it's how it's supposed to look like uh, apparently not so then it should be come now man I'm lazy so I'm just gonna copy and paste it again paste paste things and it's not liking that
Okay, I had a blonde moment there, so this is what you need to put in. I'm just going to highlight it for you. So you place your username in the place of dollar user there. So sudo space user mod space dash a space dash capital G space LP space your username. So that's it. We've installed it. So restart or log out. So I'm just going to do restart. If you're going to be setting up a printer with USB and it's already plugged in, you will need to do one of the following. Unplug and replug. So my suggestion is I'm not plugged in at the moment. So I still need to bring my printer closer to the PC. And um, I'm going to just reboot. And then I'm just going to configure the printer using HP Setup. So let's go to that website just to show you. Okay, great. So here's going to be some more steps we need to do. But I'm going to reboot and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've rebooted and I've brought the printer closer to some power here next to my PC and a USB cable. So what we need to do now is the last time I ran the HP setup which worked quite well. So you want to open your terminal. So I use Control Alt T. It's a shortcut. It's just a bit quicker. And then you want to type in sudo hp dash setup and provide your password. In. Let's try with interactive mode. There we go. So apparently I have some issues showing the GUI. But uh, if you run dash i at the end of this HP dash setup, it looks like we can get it going. So we want to use USB. I'm going to go zero for USB. and it does not like my computer or my printer because it's not plugged in so I suppose let's plug that in quickly okay I've plugged it in let's see if it works now command not found okay let's just go into active again I want to use zero oh there we go found the printer after I've plugged it in, please enter a name for this print queue. So I'll just use HP Office Jet, Jet, not hit. Press enter. Good thing because I typed it wrong. HP Printer. There we go. And it seems to be correct. Yes. Enter location description. Study. And enter. Okay, adding print queue to cups, queue name, fax queue setup. So let's call it fax. Study. Enter. PC enter name for this fax queue. Adding fax queue to cups, fax header setup. Would you like to perform fax header setup? No, because I don't use fax. Print to test page. Would you like to print test page? Okay, so let me just pause and get some paper. Okay, paper loaded. Let's test the printer. It sounds like it's printing. There we go, if you can hear it. Yay! Okay, and that's working. Now, I want to rerun this. Of course, I want to use the 
the wireless setup. So I'm going to use number one, enter. So let's see what that's doing. Okay, so that will be HP wireless. Yes. Study. No. Fax wireless. Study. Just type in whatever it asks you, the information it needs. So I don't have any other information there. No, I don't want a fax header. Mm, no, I don't want to test. Okay, great. So unfortunately, I had an error. I couldn't run this here. So I'll need to see if I can scan something. So I've opened what's it? Simple scan. And uh, let's get something to scan in. Hmm. Let's open this. Oh, parking tickets. Reclaim parking tickets. So let's put this paper in the scanning bed. Okay. And I go scan. So let's see. And it's scanning. Great stuff. Okay. So I managed to set it up for printing and scanning. It's picking it up obviously through USB now. I'll have to test this wirelessly. But that's how you install an HP printer on Ubuntu 15.04. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. We had some issues. It's nice to run into some issues sometimes so you can show what you do to go past those issues. Um, I haven't checked on how to get the GUI running. I think there's some... I have a feeling I know what it is. But anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.